The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, 25th Chapter, Text Number 16, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on November 16, 1974, in Bombay, India. Asukham, asukham, samam. <coughs> In the previous part, it has been advised, guneshu saktam bandhaya, ratam vapamsi muktaye. The process is, the mind has to be clean of all dirty things. Uh, mind is a friend, mind is the enemy of everyone. If it is clean, then it is friends. And if it is dirty, just like if you keep yourself unclean, then you contaminate some disease. And if you keep yourself clean, then you don't contaminate. And if you take action uh, remaining, therefore, according to Vedic civilization, one has to cleanse himself three times a day. Uh, three sandha. Morning, early in the morning, again at noon, again in the evening. Those who are strictly following the Brahminical rules and regulations. Uh, Vaishnava also. Vaishnava means he is already Brahmin. He must follow the rules and sattva, samad, dhamad, uh, <coughs> So cleanliness is next to godliness. So the, actually our material condition life means uh, the mind is covered with dirt, all unclean, uh, dirty things. That is the disease. Uh, and when you are in the lower stage of tamagon and rajagon, these dirty things are uh, very much prominent. <coughs> Therefore, one has to raise himself from the position of tamagon and rajagon to sakagon. <coughs> The process is recommended how to cleanse the mind. Sinnatang uh, sakatha krishna punna sravana kizam. One has to hear the uh, Krishna katha. Uh, krishna is within everyone's heart. And uh, when he sees that a condition soul, because uh, the individual soul is part and parcel of Krishna, Krishna wants that this individual soul, rascal, is uh, <coughs> so much a task for this material enjoyment, which is the cause of his bondage, birth and death, old age and disease. And he's so full that he does not take into consideration that why I should be subjected to repetition of birth, death, old age, and disease. He, he has become so full. Uh, Mura. Therefore they have been described Mura. Ass. Ass, just like ass, does not know why he is uh, loading so much. Uh, so many cloths of the wash and man. What more? <clears throat> he has no profit. None of the cloths belong to him. The wash and man gives a little morsel of grass, which is available everywhere. If the <clears throat> but the ass thinks that this morsel of grass is given by uh, the wash and man. Therefore, I must carry the heavy load although not a single cloth belongs to me. Uh, this is called karmis. 
The Kormis, all these big, big Kormis, big, big multi-millionaires, <coughs> they are just like us, because working so hard, uh, not only this big, small also, day and night, but eating two chapatis or three chapatis, or at most four chapatis, but he is working hard, so hard. <coughs> These three, four chapatis can be had easily even by the poorest man. But why he is working so hard? Because he is thinking, I am responsible for maintaining such a big family. Similarly, a leader also, public leader, a politician, he is also thinking like that, that without me, all the members of my nation will die. Uh, so let me work day and night uh, up to the point of my death or up to the point until I am killed by somebody. Uh, I have to work so hard. <clears throat> These are called dirty things. Ahangamameti. Ahangamameti. Ahangamame mamabhimanathai. These dirty things that take uh, individual, social, political, communal, or national, anyway, these two things, ahaga momenti, is very prominent. Uh, I belong to this family, I belong to this nation, I belong to such and such uh, community, I have got such and such duty. <coughs> But he does not know these are all false designations. That is called ignorance. Uh. <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu therefore begins his instruction that Jivera Saru Hoy Nitya Krishna Das. The actual position is that eternal servant of Krishna. That is the actual position. But he is thinking. I am servant of this family, I am servant of this nation, I am servant of this community, servant of so many. Ahangamameti. <coughs> this is due to ignorance, the mode of tamogun. Uh, Tamo. Therefore, in the previous verse, it is said, Guneshu Saktam Bandhaya. So long you will be attached with this Guneshu. Even if you be attached to the Satogun, uh, that is also Bandhaya. Uh, suppose Satogun means uh, exhibit the symbolic presentation is perfect Brahman. Uh, so even if we are very perfect Brahman, uh, so I think that I am so, such a learned uh, person, I understand the Vedic principles. Uh, so uh, the same ahog moment, the same principle ahog moment. Uh, but if you are raised in the satogo, then there is chance of understanding your position. In the tamogon and rajogon, you cannot. Uh, tamogon, rajogon, you remain like animal, uh, like cats and dogs. But when you uh, come to the platform of Satogon that you can come by following the principle, and then uh, the attachment, guneshu saktam bandhaya, then your conditioned life, uh, on account of being attached to the material qualities, will be finished. Uh, how simple thing. Everyone can. Uh, attain to the uh, <coughs> platform of Satogon if he follows the instruction. Uh, uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, the same thing is said in different Vedic languages and Vedic scriptures. Satatam kirtan tangamam jatantascha dirabhrata namasantascha maan bhaktya nitya yuktu This is the process. 
Uh, and in another place it is said, Sinnatang Sapata Krishna Punna Sravana Kirtana Riddantasta Avadrani Vidunati Suhit Satang. Uh, <coughs> the process is that you try to hear about Krishna Katha. Ah, Krishna Katha. Krishna Katha is there in the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna is speaking. That is Krishna Katha. And Srimad Bhagavatam about Krishna. Om Namayam Vadi Bhagavasati Vaya. Then is speaking about Krishna, the original person. So we have to hear the Krishna Katha. This uh, temple or the center is open to give chance to the people in general. Come and hear Krishna Katha. This satsang. This is called satsang. Satang prasangad mamabija sangvida bhavanti ritkarna kasayanaka. If you hear gradually, because we do not hear Krishna Katha on account of dirty things in the heart. So we have to cleanse it that. That process is chetadatpana marjanam parang vijayati si Krishna sankīva. If we chant and dance, then the dirty things become clean. Cheta khalu asa bandhaya muktai chātmano matam. Cheta, this heart, is the cause of our bondage, and the heart is the cause of our liberation. When it is dirty, then it is cause of bondage, conditional life. Conditional life means that janma mittu jarabhati. I take one birth, one body, and I stay for some time, uh, enjoy or suffer. There is no question of enjoyment, only suffering. And then again I die, tatādhyāhāntara prāpti, and I get another body, and again begin another life, maybe a uh, very good life, or maybe cats and dogs life, a tree's life, that we do not know, uh, but the hantra prapti, but there is change of body, as soon as I die, give up this body, another body. Immediately. <coughs> Immediately I will have to enter the uh, ummas and mother through the grace of the father, uh, and I will have to develop another body, and when it is fit for working, I come out and again another chapter of my life begins. This is conditioned life. <coughs> so the human life is meant for understanding the how we are undergoing this tribulation of birth and death, old age and disease. The cats and dogs, they cannot understand. That is not possible. Ah. Therefore, for human life, so many Vedic literatures are there. Not for the cats and dogs. If we don't take advantage of this Vedic literature, uh, there is no need of education. It is not needed that one has to become very learned scholar. No. Satsanga, here. Sane sthita sutigatang tanuvang mano vi. You remain in your position, but go to a person who is speaking Krishna Katha. Hear me, that's all. Everyone can do that. Huh? Where is the difficulty? So our this Krishna consciousness movement is there. We give chance to the people to hear about Krishna. That is our mind. Therefore we have specifically mentioned Krishna consciousness. We don't talk any other nonsense things. We don't talk. We have no other business. Simply talk of Krishna. That will purify. Sinnathāṁ sakatā krishna punna sarvana Even if you do not understand a single word, if you simply hear, then you become pious. It is so nice. Sinnathāṁ sakatā krishna punna sarvana 
Savana means when there is talks of Krishna. Somebody is hearing and somebody is uh, talking. Savana and Kirtan, just like here in this meeting. I am talking, you are hearing. Both of us are being benefited. Savana Kirtan. Krishna Tang Sakata Krishna. Krishna wants this. That these rascals may begin to hear and chant about me. That's all. Sakatam Kirtan Tang Mom. Mom, Krishna. Not as they don't talk politics and don't talk sociology or these or that nonsense. This is all dirty things. Uh, don't waste your time. Uh, there is no use of reading so many rascal novels. Uh, they are called Tad Bhayasa Tirtham, Tad Bhaga Vishakka Janataka Viprava, Natad Matas Chitta Padang Harer Jasa. Uh, any literature which does not glorify the Supreme Lord Hari, that is Bhayasatitham. Bhayasatitham means the place where the crows enjoy. Bhayasatitham. Uh. So, this is this Krishna consciousness moment is giving chance people to become pious. Punna Savana Kirtana. How? I have no money. How can I become pious? I cannot give in charity. I cannot uh, go to take bath in the Ganges. And so many there are pious activities. Tamasa Brahma Chajjena, Tyagena, Jamena, Niyamena. There are so many processes to become pious. Uh, in the Shastra there are recommendations. You do this to become pious. So in this Kaliju, People have lost all stamina. How to become pious? That's so simple. Uh, but here is the only means to simply come here and hear about Krishna. You have got ears. Krishna has given you ears. And Krishna has given you tongue also. You can speak just like we are reciting the verses. So the tongue is there. The ear is here, there. And uh, you can hear from a uh, realized soul and make your knowing perfect simply by hearing. Sinnatanga sakata krishna punna savana kirtan. Because one cannot be devotee unless he is purified. A sinful man cannot become a devotee. Duskitin. Uh, it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Navang duskitina mura. One class of man, duskitina, always committing sinful life. Such rascals, uh, such foolish men, duskitina mura. Navang duskitina mura prapadvante naradhava. Naradhava means lowest of the mankind. Why lowest of the mankind? Uh, because the human life is meant for purifying your existence. You are under condition of birth, death, old age, and here is the chance to purify yourself. The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, third canto, twenty-fifth chapter, text number twenty-three, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on November 23rd, 1974, in Bombay, India. <laughs> There is nobody in the world, those who are materially engaged, can say boldly that I am not suffering. Is there anybody? I challenge anyone. Can anyone say that I am not suffering? Huh? So everyone must be suffering. Huh? Why these anacin tablets are advertised? Painkiller. 
बिकॉज दे आर सफरिंग एंड नॉट इन दिस कंट्री वन द वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज ऑफ अमेरिका वन टेक्स एटलीस्ट वन डजन टैबलेट डेली फॉर मिटिगेटिंग सफरिंग ट्रैंक्यूलाइजर दिस दैट सो मैनी देर एडवर्टाइज ऑन दैट टेक एट लास्ट फॉर स्लीपिंग बिकॉज दे आर मोर एडवांस वी आर लेस एडवांस दैट आर दैट फॉर वी आर सेटिस्फाइड ओनली वन टेबल एंड एन आई सीन बट दे आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड इज वन टेबल दैट डजन सब टैबल आई हैव सीन इट It is advertised in a subway train. So many tablets are advertised. The suffering must be there. Anyone who has got this material body has accepted suffering. That's a fact. But foolish people, they cannot understand. He thinks I am got very fatty and beautiful body. He is satisfied. The dog is also satisfied. He does not know that this dog's body is greater suffering than human body. The hog's body is greater suffering than the human body. But everyone is thinking, "I am happy." This is called Maya, illusion. Ah. You go to a hospital. A man is lying down on the bed. And if you are, how are you? Yes, I am well today. What is well? So there cannot be anyone without suffering. That is not possible. There are three kinds of suffering: adhyati, adhiboti, adhidoyvi. Adhyati means pertaining to the body and mind. I have got headache today. I have got some pain here in the back. Uh, my mind is not very much settled up today. I cannot talk with you. These kind of sufferings are called adhati, pertaining to the body and the mind. And there are sufferings adhi bhuti. Just like at night, unnecessarily. The dogs bark, and we cannot sleep. This is called adi bhuti, suffering imposed by other living entities. The mosquitoes, the bugs, uh, then enemies, uh, suffering. Uh, just like some of our enemies, they are hindering, sanctioning this temple. So this is called adi bhuti. And besides that, big big sufferings there are. Then adi doivi accident, which you have no control, no suffering, you have control. That is not possible. Uh, there is famine, there is pestilence, there is no rain, there is ex- excessive heat, excessive cold. These they are called adi doivi uh, uh, earthquake. So many. So. Uh, this is the reminder that you rascal, you are thinking you are very happy in this material world. What you have done about this suffering? Uh, Mura. Uh, they think uh, this is all right. It doesn't matter. Uh, and besides that, there is uh, very great suffering. That is. Birth, death, old age, and disease. So, where is your happiness? But because we are under the spell of Maya, we are thinking this position is very nice. Let us enjoy life. This is their enjoy. So, one has to tapanti vividha stapa vividha. Multi, vividha means many. Tapanti vividha stapa na etan madhagata chita sah. Those who are Krishna conscious, they you can now we cannot say that they are not suffering. They are suffering, but not so 
acutely. They know. Uh, therefore, we have begun this sadhus symptoms. Titikshava, tolerant. Everyone is tolerant. One has to tolerate. Uh, but a sadhu's toleration, an ordinary man's toleration, is different. Uh, <coughs> sadhu's toleration is not so acute because a sadhu knows that he is not this body. Uh, there is a Bengali Vaishnav song, uh, Deha smriti nahi jat samsar mandhan kahata. If you understand properly uh, that I am not this body, uh, then although there is suffering, uh, you will not feel very much. Uh, although we are now absorbed with this body, bodily sufferings uh, are there. Just like the example that you have got a car and there is some accident, so one who is too much absorbed with the thought that this is my car or I am car, uh, he suffers more. But if one knows that I am not this car, all right, there is some accident, it can be repaired or it can be repaired. That doesn't matter. It is a question of absorption of the thought. Uh, the materialistic person, uh, because they are like animals, uh, he suffers more. And for the devotees, as it is advised in the Bhagavad Gita, Matras Parashastra Kontiya Sitosna Sukhadukkada. Agama Apainya Anitya Tangati Krasa Bharat. Krishna says to John that these material sufferings are just like the sufferings of season, seasonal suffering. In summer season also you suffer, and in winter season also you suffer. Chitosna sukadukkada. And the same thing, this fire in summer season, it is suffering. The heat is suffering. And <coughs> In the winter season, the same fire is pleasing. Similarly, water in the winter season is suffering, but in the summer season it is pleasing. The same water, the same fire, sometimes it is suffering, sometimes it is pleasing, but the matter is the same. Why matras parasa? It is due to the touch of the skin. Because we have got the skin disease and this body, therefore you are suffering. Because you have become so nonsense rascal that I am this body. Dasyatu buddhi kunapi tidhatuke. Tidhatuke. This is the bag of three elements, kapho pitta bhayu. Kapho pitta bhayu. According to Ayurvedic system, they are called tridhat. So this body is made of material elements, kapha, pitta, bhayu. So jasyāta buddhi kuna pe tridhātuke sadhik kalatra disubhama ijyadhi jatīrtha buddhi shalile na karhichi janesu avigni saiva gokhat. So the more we are eh, in bodily concept of life, the suffering is more. Ah. Nowadays, ah, new things have developed, nationalism, communism, ah, communalism, mm -hmm. so many things. Ah. Sufferings are more. Ah. We have seen in 1947 in Calcutta, Hindu-Muslim riot. Ah. The more suffering, because one is thinking, I am Hindu, one is thinking, I am Muslim. Uh, but if one is advanced in Krishna consciousness, then they will not suffer. They will not unnecessarily fight because I am Hindu, because you are Muslim. 
that we have to fight. No. Because if both of them know that I am not this body, therefore I am neither Hindu nor Muslim, I am eternal servant of Krishna, then where is the suffering of Hindu-Muslim life? The understanding is missing oh. because people are being educated to become more bodily conscious. Therefore, their sufferings are increasing. Sufferings are increasing. And if you reduce this bodily concept of life, then suffering also will be reduced. Oh. So those who are Krishna conscious, Krishna conscious means, here it is said, Madhagata Chetasa. Naitana Madhagata Chetasa. Madhagata, Bhagavan said, those who are always thinking of in the mind, within the heart, Madhagata Chetasa, they are not suffering. They are, they, are, they are not suffering in this way because they know that even if I am suffering, it is Krishna's desire. So they welcome. Just like Kunti. Uh, Queen Kunti, when Krishna was departing, taking farewell from Kunti, the Kunti said, My dear Krishna, when we are in full of danger, at that time you are always present as our friend, as our advisor. Now we are well situated, we have got our kingdom, we are well established. So you are going away to Dwarka? No, no, no. This is not good. Better we may again go to that suffering so that we can remember you always. So the devotee sometimes welcomes suffering because that is an opportunity of remembering Krishna very constantly. Tattena kampa susumikshamana bhunyana eva kritam vipāk. So when a devotee suffers, he thinks that uh, it is due to my past misdeeds. So I am suffering not very much, very little, on account of Krishna's grace. So it doesn't matter. So after all it is everything in the mind, suffering and enjoying. So you... The devotee's mind is trained up in Krishna consciousness. Therefore, he does not care for suffering. That is the difference uh, between a devotee and non-devotee. Therefore, it is said that tapanti vividha stapa na etan madgata chitasa. That's like Pallad Maharaj. So, how much suffering he had to undergo? Uh, a five years old boy, and his father was putting in danger, uh, sometimes uh, under the uh, feet, leg of the elephant, sometimes throwing from the mountain, sometimes on burning oil, uh, sometimes uh, among the snakes, and uh, so many ways. Uh, but uh, he was silent. Haridas uh, Thakur. Vridas Thakur was a Mohammedan by birth. So he became a very good devotee and always chanting Hare Krishna. That was his fault. So the Muslim Kazi called him that you are Mohammedan, you born in a such great family, Mohammedan family, and you are chanting Hindu's Hare Krishna mantra. What is this? So he mildly replied, My dear sir, there are many Hindus, they also have become Mahavidan. So suppose I have become Hindu, so what is, what is the wrong? Oh, what is wrong there? So Kaji became very angry that oh, you are talking oh, before me, all right. So he was punished to be king in twenty-two bazaar, in front of twenty-two bazaar. Uh, that means he has to be killed by caning. Uh, <coughs> so it is understood when he was bitten by the cane, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was on his back. So he did not feel any suffering. Uh, <coughs> 
So there are many instances. A devotee uh, had to suffer many sufferings, but uh, they did not uh, take it very much severely. They tolerated, and a devotee is educated to tolerate. Therefore, in the sadhu's symptoms, beginning, the titik sabha karunika, they, a devotee suffers. At the same time, he is very kind to these conditioned souls, how to elevate them, how to make them Krishna conscious. This is karunika. These are the very primary features of a devotee's life. Uh, people put him into suffering in so many ways, uh, but he does not give up his job. His job is to spread Krishna consciousness so that others may become happy. Uh, just like Prahlad Maharaj said, so, my Lord, uh, I have no suffering. I have no suffering. Because I know the uh, art, how to become happy. That Vidya Gayana Amrita uh, Magna uh, Chitya. The same thing is described here. Sinnanti mm. Kathayanti. The Pallad Maharaj said that I know how to become happy. How to become happy? The simply hearing about you and chanting about you. Sinnanti Kathayanti. Just like here. Two business is going on. You are hearing, and I am speaking. Bodhantam parasparam mahatmana sumang pratha daivi purgiti mas. Bhajanti. This bhajan means sinlanti, kathayanti, savanam, kirtanam, vishnu. This is bhajan. You simply hear about the Lord, you talk about the Lord, that is bhajan. Savanam, then you can. How does make progress? Savanam kirtanam Vishnu. Savanam kirtanam is going on all over the world. Some is hearing about some politician, other is speaking about some politician or some other man, some important man in the society. Savanam kirtanam is going on. But they are suffering. But when the savanam kirtanam is pertaining to Vishnu, Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu, then you... The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, 25th Chapter, text number 24, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on November 24th, 1974, in Bombay, India. Taite Sadhavasadhi Sarvasanga vivarjita. Sanga stesu atha te parthya. Sanga dosu harahi te. So, at our present moment, we are sanga dosa jukta. We are contaminated by the attachment of modes of material nature. Some of us contaminated by the Satogon, some of us are contaminated by the Rajagon, and some of us are contaminated by the Tamagon. So out of the three, the Rajagon and Tamagon is very dangerous. Rajasthama <coughs> bhava. Uh, <coughs> Rajagon and tamagon means kamalobha dayasri. To be contaminated by lusty desires and greediness. <coughs> so, one has to overcome in the beginning at least the contamination by Rajagun and Tamo. At the present moment, especially in this age, 
the contamination of tamagun is very prominent and little rajagun also but satagun is practically in need in this age kolejo <coughs> it is said in this shastra uh, that satagun will be practically in need rajastam and the aim of life is to become free from all the contaminations even satagun contam this has been explained in the bhagavad gita very nicely in the 14th chapter how to become uh, <coughs> not contaminated disinfected so here kapil dev advises that mother if you want to be disinfected uncontaminated by this material nature then you associate with sadhu that was the beginning प्रसंगम अजर पासम आत्मनो कवयो विदु स्वयं साधु सुकृत मोक्षदारम अपावृतम दिस हैज द बिगिनिंग हाउ टू बिकम अनकंटेमिनेटेड वी हैव गॉट सम अटैचमेंट टू द मटेरियल मोड्स ऑफ नेचर दैट इज द कॉज ऑफ आवर बॉन्डेज नाउ if we want to be free from this bondage uncontaminated then the same attachment should be transferred to the sadhu so <coughs> eva sadhu sukrita the same attachment everyone has got attachment nobody is free of attachment the mayavadi philosophy they say the stop this attachment the both of us as we said that uh, make this attachment zero this is also a, a little advancement but it is not possible to make our attachment zero that is not possible that uh, bhagavad bhagwan says in bhagavad परम दृष्टा निवर्तते जस्ट लाइक ए चाइल्ड हैज गॉट अटैचमेंट फॉर प्लेइंग एंड ग्रेजुअली हिज अटैचमेंट शुड बी ट्रांसफर फॉर रीडिंग गोइंग टू स्कूल एजुकेशन बट इफ यू स्टॉप हिज अटैचमेंट देन यू विल बिकम मैड यू मस्ट गिव समथिंग परंग दृष्टा निवर्त जस्ट लाइक वी आर टू दि वेस्टर्न डिवोटी वी आर एडवाइजिंग दैम एटलीस्ट दो आर एक्सेप्टेड एज आवर डिसेबल दे मस्ट नो मीट ईटिंग दे आर अकस्टम टू मीट ईटिंग बट दैट हाउ दिस मीट ईटिंग हैज बीन स्टॉप वी हैव गिवन दैम nice things kachori singara rasgulla so gave them given up make it so you must give something more palatable then detachment will be possible <clears throat> first of all nullify the attachment and then giving better attachment uh, then he'll forget परम दृष्टा निवर्तते यू कैनॉट फोर्स ए लिविंग एंटिटी बाय फोर्स दैट इज द सेम एग्जाम्पल चाइल्ड हैज गॉट अटैचमेंट बट बाय सम सिस्टम हिट अटैचमेंट इज टर्न ओवर सिमिलरली आवर कॉन्शियसनेस इज देयर सम आवर आदर इट इज नाउ कॉन्टेमिनेट so gradually this contaminated consciousness has to be purified 
and then Krishna consciousness automatically will arise, will be awakened. Because the Krishna consciousness is original consciousness. Somehow or other, it is now covered by material attachment. <coughs> so, how to uh, uh, give up this material attachment and become attached to Krishna, developing Krishna attachment, the process is sadhu sangha. That is, saiva sadhu sukrita moksha dharam abhavritam. We have got so many attachments for so many things in the material world. And if you simply, you cannot make it zero, that is not possible. You have to purify. Uh, <coughs> just like if there is some disease in the eyes, if you simply say, pluck it out, that is not treatment. Treatment is, you must remove the disease. If there is cataract by some or other, then your eyesight will be revived. Similarly, we have got desires, we have got uh, calm, clothe, low, moho, masajya, these are there. But uh, you have to divert these things for Krishna's service. Uh, calm Krishna compartment, just like we have got very much attachment toward doing business for earning money and become very happy. So Krishna says, Yes, you can do business, there is no harm, but you give me the reason. Jat karosi, jat juhosi, jat asnasi, jat tapasasi, kurusyatat madarpanam. He does not say that you have to do something particular. Of course, bhakta, bhakti is, but one who is not accepting bhakti cult immediately, to him Krishna says, all right, never mind. Whatever you do, that's all right. Jat karosi. He does not say that do this. Jat karosi, jat juhosi, jat asnasi. Try to give it to me. That is the beginning of bhakti yoga. If you do business, and you earn money and spend it for Krishna consciousness, that is also bhakti. That is also bhakti. Just like vivid example is Arjun. Arjun is a fighter, and by fighting he became a devotee. Not by chanting Hare Krishna, but by fighting. Krishna advised him to fight. He was rather, because he was a Vaishnava, he was not willing to fight, to kill. Vaishnava does not like to kill. But if there is necessity, that's why Arjuna had to kill. That is by the order of Krishna, not by his own will. By his own will, Krishna did not, Arjuna did not like to kill, to fight. That is Vaishnava's natural in his state. He does not wish to do harm or to kill anybody. <coughs> but when a Vaishnava knows that Krishna wants it, he doesn't care for his own consideration. Never mind. <coughs> that is practical example, Krishna. So similarly, sakarmana tamabharca. Everyone has got his some particular duty, occupation. If by executing your occupational duty you worship Krishna, then your life is perfect. <coughs> that is the instruction given in Srimad Bhagavatam Naimisharana. Dijasreshta Bhannasama Vibhagas. Sanusthitasya dharmasya saṃsiddhi haritu saṃ atapvaṁ bhi dijasreṣṭa. 
whom be by person. Everyone is engaged in some occupational duty. Formerly <coughs> it was the Varnasram, Brahman, Khatriya, Vaishya, Sudra, and Brahmachari, Griyastha, Manaprastha, Sannyasi. <coughs> Everyone has got some particular duty according to his position. Now <coughs> the different occupational duties have expanded. It doesn't matter if you are engineer, if you are medical man, if you are something else, it doesn't matter. Sakarmanatamam Bhakti. But try to serve Krishna by the result of your work. That is bhakti. That we have to learn. Our Krishna consciousness moment does not mean that we are going to stop all activities. No, this is not our mission. <coughs> you be engaged in your activities, but don't forget Krishna. This is our mission. Be always Krishna conscious. Therefore Krishna says, how to become Krishna conscious? Jat karosi, whatever you do, kuru sutat madat panam. The result you give me, then it will be Krishna consciousness. We always think that you are doing for Krishna. Of course, by the order of Krishna, by his representative, not whimsical. If you do something nonsense, and if you think that I am doing for Krishna, that will not be accepted. It must be verified by the acceptance of Krishna and <coughs> Krishna or Krishna's representative. Uh, Arjuna did not fight without Krishna's order. Therefore he must receive the order. Uh, if he says that we do not find Krishna, how shall I receive? Then Krishna is represented. Uh, <coughs> that is sadhu. The Krishna's representative is sadhu. Therefore Kapil Dev is advising here with that you, Mother, you associate with sadhus. <clears throat> it is sadhava. He has described the symptoms of sadhu. Uh, uh, by the last three, four slokas, he has described what is the uh, symptom. Everything should be accepted by the symptom, characteristic. Not that anyone will come, I am a sadhu. No. Uh, we must know by the characteristic of sadhu. Uh, that has been described. Similarly, <coughs> incarnation of God. Not that anyone will come and say, I am incarnation of God. That will not be accepted. We have to see the characteristics of God as they are stated in this asana. Then uh, we can accept somebody as God by uncommon quality. So apart from God, now our present problem is that we are entangled <coughs> by the infection of material qualities. Rajasthama bhava, especially. Kamalu bhava yasthaji, chita etai anabhidya, sita shakti prasidati. We have to conquer over the quality, the infection of quality of Rajasthama. And then we have to situate ourselves in Satagon. Then we are in the safe position. And if we do not allow to be infected again by the Rajagon and Tamagon, uh, if we keep ourselves purely in Satagon, that is called Shuddha Satta, uh, simply purified Satagon, then we will be able to understand what is Krishna, what is God. <clears throat> so not only we have to acquire the qualities of satagon, satta sama saucha, ajava, titikya, jnanam, vijnanam, astikam, brahma karma salam. These are the characteristics of satagon. Uh, truthful. So much so truthful that uh, as they are stated by commentators, that even an enemy 
ask some cigarette from you, you can say, suppose a thief has come. Now what you have got in your, in your box? Uh -huh. So if you say, well, I have got so many thousands of rupees or hundreds, a truthfulness should be like that. Even to an enemy, it should be disclosed. That is called truthfulness. Sattva, sama, dhamma, saucha, cleanliness, then controlling the mind, controlling the senses, and simplicity, very simple in behavior, arjava, tirikha, tolerance, and full knowledge, vigyanam, practical application of knowledge, asrikam, full faith in Vedic literature and in God. These are the qualifications of satagun. So everything can be attained very nicely and easily simply by this sadhu-saṅga. Sadhu-saṅga. That we repeatedly say that we, we are trying to create some sadhu so that in different parts of the world they will <coughs> preach Krishna consciousness and people will be able to associate with them and they will... The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, third canto, twenty-fifth chapter, text number twenty-five, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on November 25th, 1974, in Bombay, India. Rajusana dasya pavagavatmani sadhyarati bhakti ranukramishyati. So, here it is recommended, Satang Prasanga talks between devotees. Satang means devotee, not ordinary person. <coughs> Those who are Devote, Sat, Sat and Asat, there are two things. Sat means which exists, and Asat means which does not exist, temporary. That is called Asat. The material world is Asat. Therefore, Vedic injunction is Asatu ma sadgamo. Don't keep yourself within this material world. Child. Asatu ma. So, people who are interested in materialistic life, they are called asat. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was asked by a devotee, what is the behavior of a Vaishnava, of a devotee? Vaishnava means devotee. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, asat sangha tagi Vaishnava acha. Asat sangha tagi Vaishnava acha. He, in one line he said that, first of all, Vishnam, his business is to avoid the company of asat. Asat means those who are materialistic interest. Asata, asata uma sadgama. This is very important thing. We have established this Krishna consciousness society means that to avoid the asasaṅga, to avoid the, of course, we are preaching Krishna consciousness amongst the people who are interested in material subject matter. <coughs> but we are not associating with them. 
we are associating with Krishna because we don't talk anything except Krishna. We are not interested with their business. Everyone is interested with his own business. Similarly, we are interested with our own business, Krishna consciousness business. Even if we go to a materialistic person, we can back, kindly become our member, kindly read this book, purchase this book. So we are not going to take their activities. We are trying to bring them in our activities. So asa sangatya vaiṣṇava-ācā. They vaiṣṇā. He should be always careful uh, not to intermingle in good. Means not to take up their ideas and thoughts. No. That is Vaishnava. Asat Sangat Dayagi Vaishnava. Why they should be avoided? Asat acts three Sangi, Krishna Abhakta, who is Asat. Asat means those who are very much attached to sense gratification. Uh, sense means the, the culmination of sense gratification is sex life. Uh, so those who are too much attached to sex life, Trishangi, and Krishna of Bhakta, and not devotee of Krishna, they are also. So those who are actually serious to make advance in spiritual life, they should avoid the asat. Asat sangha tayagi vishnu vacha, asat akstri sangi krishna abhakta ar. See, if we discriminate like this, then we shall be advancing. Abhavarga bhatmani. Tadjurasanad asu Abhavarga Bhatmani Sadhya Bhakti Ranukramishati. Just like if we are diseased, there is infectious disease, epidemic. So we should be careful not to be infected by the infectious disease. See, Sanatana Goswami said, in Bhakti, I mean, it's Hari Bhakti Vilas. He has written one book, The Behavior of the Vaishnava, Hari Bhakti Vilas. So in that book, he has recommended, A Vaishnava Mukhad Girna Puta Hari Kathamritam Sabanam Nakatabbam. He has said that one who is not Vaishnava, by his behavior, by his action, by his mode of life. Uh, if he speaks something from Shastra, especially Harikatha, Harikatha means Bhagavad Gita, the Puranas, out of which the Bhagavat Mahapurana. So we should not hear from a professional leader or a Vaishnava or Mayavadi. Chaitanya Mahapurva has warned, Mayavadi bhasya sunile hai sadbuna. If we hear Bhagavad Gita, that is Krishna Katha, Hrikatha, we should not hear from the Mayavadis or a Vaishnava. Then it will not be effective. There are so many Mayabadis and Avaishna, uh, they practically do not accept Krishna, even the Supreme Personality of Godhead, uh, and they dare to speak on Bhagavad Gita. Just see the fun. He does not accept Bhagavad Gita as it is, and he wants to comment and give his uh, tika. So, uh, you will never derive any benefit. Uh, therefore, here it is said, Satang prasanga. 
यू शुड हियर भगवत गीता एंड श्रीमद भागवतम फ्रॉम द डिवोट नॉट फ्रॉम ए थर्ड क्लास मैन नो थर्ड क्लास मीन दो आर मेटीरियलिस्ट सो देट हूँ चैतन्य महापुरा वर्ड दैट मायावादी भाष्य सुनिले हाय सर्वना इफ यू हैपन टू हियर फ्रॉम ए मायावादी इम्पर्सनलिस्ट हु डज नॉट एक्सेप्ट कृष्णा एज द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड है और डज नॉट नो वॉट इज कृष्ण इफ सच पर्सन रीज भगवद गीता एंड श्रीमद भागवतम यू नेवर डिराइव एनी बेनिफिट यू कैन गो ऑन हियरिंग डैम फॉर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ इयर्स स्टिल यू विल नेवर अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कृष्ण That is forbidden. Sanatan Goswami has forbidden so, that avishnava mukhadgirna puto hari katha amrita hari katha ah, talks discussion on hari or Krishna. That is amrita. Amrita means nectaring. If one hears, then he gets his amrita. Amrita tam. अमृतताय कल्पते अमृत मीन्स नो मोर बैथ एंड डेथ अमृत मीन्स बैथ एंड डेथ मृत्यु एट अमृत ऑन टू स्टॉप बर्थ एंड डेथ द होल स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ मीन्स टू स्टॉप दिस बर्थ डेथ ओल्ड एज एंड डिजीज टू गेट अमृत नो मोर बर्थ नो मोर डेथ दैट इज द रियल एम ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ Uh, of course, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, the spiritual life begins uh, if one is pious. Uh, if one is pious, artho artha ti jigyasu jatu vidha bhajante ma. Krishna says, four classes of men. Jatu vidha bhajante ma. Shukriti na ordi na shukriti. Shukriti means pious. One's one who has got background, pious life, not in pious life, sinful life. Such pious men, out of them, four classes of men, chatur bida. They come to uh, devotional life begins. Uh, who are they? Artho, those who are distressed. Artho, artharthi, those who want some money. Jigyasu, those who are inquisitive and gany. Uh, the artho, artharthi, they are in the uh, lower grade, and gany and jigyasu, they are in the higher grade. But still, they are not pure devotees because they want something. Artho, the distressed, he comes to Krishna in the temple or in the church to beg something material profit. That is also good because he has come to Krishna. Krishna, I am distressed. Kindly. Save me from the distressed condition, Krishna. I require some money. Kindly, if you give me some money, I can live very peacefully. Generally, so, so because they have come to Krishna, therefore they are called Sukriti. No, Sukriti no means pious. And there are others who are Dushkriti, no, impious, sinful. नमान दुष्कृत न मूढ़ा प्रबदंते न रात दे आर नॉट इन ह्यूमन बींग हु डू नॉट एक्सेप्ट द ऑथोरिटी ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉ दुष्कृत न मूढ़ा एंड दे आर बीन डिस्क्राइब एज मूढ़ा मूढ़ा मीन्स रेस्क पुलिस Uh, real meaning of murha is as. Uh, <coughs> so those who are like that, dushkriti no, and 
full of impious activities, nanadhama, lowest of the mankind, māyā aparita jñāna, whose knowledge has been taken away by the illusory energy, namān prapadvati, they do not accept Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. So, uh, in order to become a devotee of Krishna, uh, we must associate with devotee. Satam prasanga mama uh, Then by reciprocation with devotees, if one is, one comes to devotee also if one is pious. If something is there on the background, piety, then he comes to a devotee. So, uh, by mixing with devotee, by associating with devotee, our knowledge uh, for salvation or getting out of the clutches of this māyā, repetition of birth and death, increases. Satāṁ prasaṅgā mama vīrjaṁ. Uh, the discussion on Krishna katha is vīrjabha. Just like when there is uh, sex life, if the man is bijaman, there will be pregnancy. Similarly, if we hear from devotee, then immediate action will be there, uh, some inclination. So why not uh, become Krishna conscious? Uh, that is bijaman. Why not become Krishna conscious? That is called sadhya. Sadhya bhakti ranukramishyati tadyushana asu apavartva vartvane sadhya. This is called sadhya. Uh, if by hearing from the devotees or in the association of devotees one is inclined, uh, why not become Krishna conscious? That is very nice. Sukriti no. Immediately, the effect of pious activities. Radhu sadhya. That is the beginning of spiritual life. And if you want to develop your spiritual life more and more, then satang prasanga, then you have to associate with the body. Radhu sadhya tatu sadhu sangha. Uh, and sadhu we have described already in three, four verses. Uh, the samadhi is a sadhu means devotee. Apite sudura chara bhajate mama nannabha. Anannabha vena. Without any deviation, unflinching, uh, uh, <coughs> staunch devotee. They are called sadhu. So uh, we have to. Uh, Associate with sadhu, satan prasanga. When you discuss about Krishna with sadhu or devotees, it becomes very pleasing.